today's video, I'll be showing you guys skincare, natural makeup, and a loungewear outfit idea so that you guys could look good and feel good all the while staying at home and being safe. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. Hey y'all, welcome back to Looks by Nahima, your go-to channel for fashion and beauty here on YouTube. And just like the title says, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my stay-at-home routine, some ways that I've just been taking care of myself while staying at home and being safe. I'm showing you guys a bunch of new skincare products from some really amazing natural skincare and makeup brands. I'll also be showing you guys a really natural, glowy makeup look, as well as an outfit idea for when you're just lounging around, you know, just chilling relaxing at home. So if you're all about self-care and self-love, let's not wait any longer and let's hop right into the skincare. I think it is really, really important to still take care of yourself. You forget to take the time out of the day to, you know, get ready for the day, you know, still look cute. And you don't need to be doing any of this for other people. This is truly for yourself. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do that for myself on certain days. You know, this is also a routine that you can definitely implement when you plan on maybe like going to the grocery store for the week, anything like that. You probably just wanna change up the outfit that I plan on wearing. But as far as like the skincare, makeup this is all good for staying at home and going out so first things first um, I already have my face cleansed and everything so we are nice and clean and then I like to always go in with my toner and as you guys know I do have oily sensitive acne prone skin so a toner that I really really love to use is witch hazel and I find that literally any witch hazel works so I the latest witch hazel I picked up was the CVS health Witch Hazel, and I have found that this truly is the best toner for oily skin. So if you guys aren't already using Witch Hazel as a toner and you have oily skin, a hop on the train. I always like to fan my toner just to give it a moment to settle into my skin and do its magic before I go in with the next item. So the next step in my routine is usually this is where I go in with like a special treatment, serum, something like that. And my friends over at Good Molecule Skincare were kind enough to send me over a package full of some of their skincare products. So I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of the items from that in today's video. They truly are, you know, quote unquote, good molecules for your skin. So I'm really, really excited to finally be able to test out some of their products for you guys. So first off, I'm going in with this niacinamide serum that is formulated with 10% niacinamide to refine skin texture and minimize pores. And if you guys have heard me talk in some of my previous skincare videos, you know that texture and pores are two things that I really, really, really want to focus on. This is the perfect product for me. I've never used a niacinamide serum, but I've always heard that the niacinamide is really good for, you know, my skin type. So that'll be great. Look how cute this packaging is. So this is what the bottle actually looks like. It looks like it is one of those pipette applicators. Oh my God, I love this. I'm gonna go ahead and rub that into my skin. It does have a little bit of a weird smell. I'm sure that's probably the niacinamide. I feel like that actually feels really good on my skin. I don't see anything, you know, directly different with my skin. I'll definitely say my, my, I feel like my skin just looks really healthy and, you know, rejuvenated so this is definitely a product that i'm gonna have to test out over time to really see how it works and that's gonna be the same thing for any new skincare products that i try out if you guys are interested in seeing my results with trying good molecule skincare please let me know that in the comment section down below and i'll be more than happy to do a dedicated video for you guys just so you guys can see you know before and after results you know i could test it out for a week a month anything so the next product that they sent me over was their pure cold press rose hip seed oil which is this is actually one of their newer products that they released. And I've always heard really great things about rose hip seed oil, but unfortunately I've actually never tried it out. So today I'm gonna to be trying it out. Something that I definitely do wanna point out is the more time that we spend inside, the less time that we're getting, you know, natural sunlight and all those good vitamins just from being outside in the sun. So anything that gives you vitamins or anything like that is going to be a great product that you should be using while you're at home, which this has some vitamin A. So I definitely just recommend having, you know, 
a good balance of your daily vitamins. I will have links to all these products in the description box down below. So cute. Go ahead and, you know, put a few drops in between my fingers, warm it up on my hand and press it into my skin. Boom, press it. It's not unpleasant. It's actually pretty like nice natural smell. I really like that rose hip seed oil. Definitely be using that again. The next product from Good Molecules I will be putting on my face is their silicone free priming moisturizer. It's formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, and a plant derived silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish skin. Sounds like all great things. So, oh, and it's a pump. We love a pump. It always takes a few pumps just to get it started. So I did about a pump and a half. It's just like, you know, white lotion-y kind of. Now I'm just gonna rub that into my skin. This priming moisturizer does not have a scent. I really like this moisturizer actually. I feel like it just locked in all the skincare products I just put onto my face and my skin feels really soft right now. I also feel like my skin feels like really primed as well. Like I mentioned, please let me know if you guys want to see me test out Good Molecule skincare. I have even more products that they sent me so I can test out, you know, like their line. And I use the Anu Vital eye cream. I just like to gently pat in my eye cream. So with all my skincare products on right now, I feel like my skin is just feeling really, really nice and clean and healthy. And I feel like it looks just really like, you know, glowing healthy rejuvenated and honestly for normal days like if i was not going out if it wasn't like my you know my pamper day for the week i would just keep it at this step and you know just throw on some loungewear you know and do some work around the house whatever i had to do for the day but because today is my stay at home routine and i'm really showing you guys you know what i would do you know for those days that i want to like you know feel cute i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of light makeup for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and you know use like a very light coverage foundation this one is actually the ColourPop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer i did do a video dedicated to this tinted moisturizer so if you guys are interested in that i will leave it up in the eye above so you guys can see my full review on this but just as a quick update to that video, I actually really do enjoy this tinted moisturizer and I have been using it exactly in the way I'm going to show you guys when I just want that no makeup makeup look, very light coverage, you know, really just simple. I'm staying at home type of situation. I love to use this and I've really been enjoying it. So I just do like a half a pump there and a half a pump there and that's literally all I do. But really the point of putting this on isn't to really like cover up any like marks on my face it's really just to give my face like a little bit more of a universal color and usually when i'm doing this routine i don't typically use concealer but i just noticed that i have this makeup revolution fast base concealer in my collection that i've never actually showed on my channel and i've actually never used described as lightweight buildable coverage to conceal dark circles and imperfections blah blah, blah. So I'm just gonna use this right underneath my eyes. Let's see, hopefully I got the right shade. You know what? I really like that concealer. I feel like it gave me the perfect light to medium coverage and it did exactly like what I wanted. It just covered up a little bit of the darkness under the eyes, a little bit around the mouth. And I actually don't have any complaints. The only thing I don't like is the packaging, but the actual concealer inside seems like it's pretty good. Honestly, when I'm doing these like really natural makeup routines, I typically use my cream products. This is like when I like my cream products to shine. I don't like to use too much powder because I feel like it takes away from like the natural beauty sometimes. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. And I have this one in the shade Goddess Glow. Use a dual foot applicator to put it a little bit on the high points of my cheeks. Just put it on there, but it's not blended out just yet. Just any areas that I normally highlight above the cupid's bow, a little bit on the nose. So I'm just going in circular motions, very light pressure and blending and buffing it into my skin. Just so it can look as natural as possible. 
And I really love her like dewy and lit from within. This liquid highlighter looks. And so when you're going here, you just wanna be mindful of, you know, placement so you don't go crazy. But I just like to like, you know, press a little bit and, you know, lightly buff. So just, it ends up looking very natural. Of cream products, this is a great time for me to use my Glossy Air Cloud Paint. I don't use these as much as I should, but for looks like this, I always love to let this product shine. If you have dark skin and you wanted to use one of the Glossier Cloud Paints, Haze is your best friend. Haze is such a great shade. Oh my God, I put way too much. Just spread it from the apples of the cheeks to the side. Kind of like where you would put your bronzer on. I like to repurpose cream blush by either using it on your lips as like a lip tint or on your eyes. So I'm actually gonna be going in and using it like a little bit of a lip tint. So I just spread it like on the bottom of my lip. I'm actually gonna be using something new for my brows, which I haven't actually had a new brow product in so long. It, like, I rarely mix up my brow routine, so you know when I plan to mix up my brow routine, the product is worth the try. So my friends over at 100% Pure actually sent me over some of their skincare and some of their makeup and I decided to, that I'm going to be using their Green Tea Fiber Brow Builder, which is basically like a brow gel from them. And I love, love, love brow gels. And especially when you're going for a no makeup makeup look, you do not want to, you know, have those block Instagram brows. You want to look as natural as possible and a brow gel is the way to go. This formula offers flexible hold and natural sculpted definition. It gives the appearance of fuller, thicker brows without being stiff or sticky. This is what like the packaging looks like. Just a really nice clean packaging. I have mine in the shade medium brown. This is really cute packaging. Okay, 100% pure, I see you. So I'm just going in like an upward direction, like I said. Okay, right off the bat, I will definitely say this is a good color for me. It's not too dark, it's not too light. Wow, you guys, I really like this. You guys can see the difference between this brown and this brown. I really like this. This might be a game changer. I think I just found my new favorite brow gel. Wow, okay, I'm, obviously I'm gonna have to see how this holds up throughout the day, but off the bat, this brow gel is great. I will definitely say it's better than the Essence brow gel. Obviously the Essence one is like a good price, but I would have to build the Essence one a lot to get to this, but this was effortless pigment. And I tr I don't, I don't even need to go in with my brow pencil or anything. Like this is this is good stuff. I will leave a link to this brow gel in the description box down below. I encourage you guys to try it for yourself if you like brow gels. This one, she's a ooh, she's a good one. Okay. Just to lock this whole look together, I'm gonna go in with a very light layer of powder and I'm gonna be using my milk makeup um blur and set powder. And so I'm not looking to like have the over powdered look or anything. I try not to cover the areas where I put my highlighter on just so I don't like, you know, ruin that effect. Avon Big and False Last Mascara just gives me like really, really nice volume. You know, just keep it really nice and simple. Of course, you guys know how much I'm in love with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I have mine in the shade Fenty Glow. It just is a really nice natural lip color that like, you know, it gives life to your lips and keeps it really nice and juicy. Very nice and hydrated as well. As you guys can see, just a really simple, natural, stay at home makeup look. I really have not been wearing that much makeup at all besides like if I'm just like filming a video or something like that. You deserve to be pampered. You deserve to look good. Whether it is, you know, just doing your skincare routine, whether it's putting makeup on, whether it's putting dressing up and, you know, putting on a cute outfit for yourself to stay at home. Regardless, I just like to do this one time a week, but we are not done yet. So I'm going to be showing you guys an outfit options for when you guys are just lounging around the house, all that kind of stuff. This is going to be something I typically wear, so it's nothing like fancy or anything like that. 
I will be doing some upcoming look books though, so stay tuned for that. Loungewear outfit idea in three, two, one. Really cute white shorts. They have like this really nice embroidery design that's in burgundy and navy along the edge. And it's just these really nice, you know, linen white shorts. They're really nice and flowy and they're super comfortable to wear, but not only are they comfortable, but they're really, really cute. For today, it'll be really cute to layer it with this red, white, and navy blue cropped hoodie. It's very lightweight. It's really, really breathable and super, super comfortable and cute. And I think these two make a really cute loungewear outfit just for today. The ones should be walking around their house barefoot, but neither should you be wearing shoes in the house. I say grab your favorite pair of slides. Mine just so happen to be these rose gold Puma slides. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on for you guys and see, show you guys what they look like on. Hey guys, so this is what the outfit looks like on. And before you guys come at me about these shorts being wrinkled, this is actually the style of them. They're supposed to be like, you know, crinkled like this or whatnot, I don't know. I like it sometimes, other times I don't. Right now I'm at home, so it really doesn't matter. And so I think this is just really, really cute. Um, I love how like this embroidery kind of just ties in with the cropped hoodie. And I think this is something that just looks really, really cute when you're just lounging at home. The shorts are really, really comfortable. This is really comfortable. Um, so I would say when choosing an outfit to lounge around in, the most important key factors are first comfort, and second, you know, do you feel cute in it? Do you look cute in it? All that kind of stuff. So those are really the only two factors that are really important. And of course, I do have the slides on my feet, but I can't really show you guys that because the mirror would be short though. Yeah, this was my stay at home, get ready with me routine. And I really hope I was able to show you guys ways that you can stay at home and be safe, but also feel and look your best. Sometimes I might throw in a skincare mask, such as the Aztec Healing Clay Mask. If you guys haven't seen my review on that, go ahead and check that out. I've really been enjoying that mask. Or I might, you know, also take like a bubble bath later on at night just so I can really relax. Really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please let me know that in the comment section down below. I talked about a lot of stuff and I showed you guys a lot of products in today's video. So I'd also love to know you guys' thoughts on those. And as always, make sure you are subscribed to my channel by clicking the subscription button down below. And while you're down there, you might as well go ahead and click that bell notification on so you're notified whenever I do upload. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with someone who you know is currently staying at home, which is a lot of us, so I'm expecting you guys to share it with all your friends. <laughs> As always, see you guys next time. Now stay tuned for the bloopers. I don't think it picked up anything. I will, this is great to be, oh! <laughs> I purchased it and I haven't used it. Covered, I'm not covered.